Well, hello and good evening, everyone. Welcome to LifeWave Living. We're so excited to have you here today, and we're so stoked to be talking with some pretty amazing people. We have a great lineup for you tonight, and we know that you're going to get some great, great insights from our guests as we talk through what is summer storytelling and how can we together improve our focus and prioritize as we have conflicting priorities throughout the summer. So as I shared with you, um, tonight we'll be talking about focusing, about balancing life, about setting priorities, but especially during the summer. Um, as I mentioned, we have two special guests with us tonight. We have Senior Presidential Director Marcy Rebel, and we also have a LifeWave distributor, but also renowned life coach, Clo Coach Clarissa. So I'm so excited that we have them joining us today. Additionally, we have Jeannie Rodden, our communication specialist, who will be co-hosting today with me. So again, we're so incredibly excited to have you here and to talk about summer and how do we prioritize focus and balance throughout the summer. So it'll be really great. So hold on, get your notepads ready uh, because we've got a lot of great things that we're sharing with you today. And I know that you will find some great tips and things that you can use in your life and things that will help you um, as you try to focus for the summer and prioritize. So again, how do we focus? How do we prioritize during the summer? So for me, um, and I know many of us, it's really, really important that we do really identify what are the most important things that we're trying to accomplish in our lives and then adjust uh, based on what's going on during the summer. You know, because everything kind of changes during the summer. You know, some of us have little babies at home, some of us are traveling, um, our routines get a little bit mixed up. And so it's important that we list out all of our goals, we list out all of our focuses, and we list out all our priorities. And by doing so, that really helps us to get to the core of what it is that we're trying to do with our lives and what do we want to accomplish. So for myself, my priorities, my non-negotiables are my family, my health, and then excelling in my work. Those are really, really important things to me. And so those are non-negotiables. Those are things that I, I will never make excuses for in my, my journey to accomplish them. So let me just pull up our presentation real quick because I want to share something with you about how I prioritize my own personal life. So let me just show you real quick. This is a little clock and uh, those of you who know me know that I wake up pretty early every morning. Um, this clock says 4 a.m., but I typically get up at 4.30 in the morning. And the reason I do that is because I have very specific health goals and wellness goals and mindset goals that I know I have to work towards every single day to ensure that I'm the best me I can be for my kids and for myself as well as my career. And so it's really, really important for me that I ensure that I am getting up super early so that I can make sure <laughs> to get those things done. So for me, that my wake up call, my 430 wake up call is a non-negotiable. I have to make sure that I'm doing the things that I need to be successful. So what that does is I've had to readjust my schedule. I've had to work through my goals, my priorities, and really align what do I want to accomplish and what, what is it going to take for me to be able to accomplish those things, setting those non-negotiables. So again, you have to readjust so that you can achieve those goals and achieve the things that you want to do. You know, like I mentioned before, we do have Jeannie Rodden on here today with us, and she's our communications specialist here at LifeWave. She would like to talk to you a little bit more about that, but taking it a little bit differently. She wants to talk to you a little bit about bringing balance to that routine as you focus on working towards your goals. So hi, Jeannie. Welcome. Hey, Emily. Hi. It's great to be here. And Em, I have to say, I'm really impressed. You get up at 430. I don't know. I don't think I could have done it. But uh, <laughs> it's a great goal that you've established for yourself. And, and those non-negotiables are really, really important. But I think also you have to have the life balance, right? It can't be all work and no play because you won't be effective in, in reaching those goals in your business if you set it up that way, especially during the summer when there's so much more available out there, even during this pandemic in terms of things we can do. So I want to share a story with you. My son, Mark, has uh, started doing a weekly ritual on the weekends, and that's sunrise hikes. 
Here you see a wonderful picture that he took. This is, uh, he climbed up Mammoth Mountain just this past weekend. And um, he plans these things all week long, right? So he's planning it when he gets off work every day. And it's a, it's a big motivator for him to get through the week because he's looking forward to this wonderful experience on Saturday. And, uh, and, and it really helps to energize him and help him reach his goals during the week. So when Saturday comes, you know, he puts on the headlamp and, you know, cause he's going out in the middle of the night and he has his thermos of hot coffee and he's, he's hiking up the trail with the creature sounds all around him and the bugs. And, but once he gets to the top and he sees the sun just starting to crest over the mountain and he sits down on a rock and starts drinking that hot coffee, that's really a moment to remember. And it's a great experience. And he can take that memory with him and use that for the next week to really you know, fall back on when he feels stressed or he's going through um, you know, a, real, a real intense part of his work day. So talking about Workday, I do want to give you guys a few tips about that because a lot of us are working from home now and there are some things we can do to maximize reaching those goals and, and those hours that we're putting in while we're sitting at home. The first one I want to tell you about is stay connected to your, to your team members, right, to avoid feeling isolated. You may be alone in your house, you may be surrounded by kids and family and there's chaos going on, but it's really important to stay connected to the team members that you're working with who are collaborating with you to reach those same goals. Another one that I want to talk about is setting up boundaries, right, to keep your personal and professional lives from clashing. Stick to your normal work hours and quit when it's time also. So that means, you know, in the middle of the day, uh, the laundry may be calling you, but don't call back, right? Leave it alone until later. And, you know, don't make those, you know, trips to the fridge every hour. Um, don't waste your time like that. Try to stay very, very focused during your day. Um, and then when it's quitting time, quit, right? Turn off your emails, turn off your tech, and just enjoy the rest of the day in some way. Um, that can read that really helps to then you know infuse you for the next day with energy to then go and hit those goals again um, Take breaks during the day as well move around some people set an alarm uh, That's a good idea. Just maybe take a walk outside for a second or two You know the thing the thing about working at home is we're near the outdoors We're not stuck in an office building so we could take those little breaks to re-energize and plan something fun to look forward to after your work hours, right? It's what we've already been talking about. You know, have some summertime goals in your life, not just in your business. And that's gonna really motivate you to accomplish the most that you can during those business hours. And on that note, I do wanna bring in our first guest, and that is Marcy Preble. Now, Marcy Preble is a LifeWave Senior Presidential Director who's been with LifeWave, I believe, a little less than a year. She's the mother of three beautiful boys, one of whom is now recovering from autism. She herself is a breast cancer survivor. She loves to create business, and when her partner introduced her to X39, she said, this is our purpose, and we need to share this technology with the world. Welcome, Marcy. Thank you, thank Hi. you so much. Hi, it's great Hi to be there. So nice to see you too. Yeah, thank you for joining us. So you've been with LifeWave almost a year now, is that right? Yeah, blessed to be here for a year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So tell us how you came to LifeWave. Well, you know, it's an interesting story. You know, I've been a pretty sick girl and I've been pretty sick um, for about three years. In 2017, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer and um, my life changed dramatically. I um, I did about nine months of chemo and a double mastectomy and um, a lot of radiation. And after the treatment, my immune system was pretty wiped out. And then we found that um, there, we probably should have done the kill before the cutting. And so there was a piece that got stuck into the expander for some of you women that know breast cancer, you know what I'm talking about. And it came back. I know, can you imagine? <laughs> and so we did some more cutting and some more radiation. And then I did a lot of praying to God. And, um, and I heard you got it. And uh, they wanted to put me on a lot of different metastatic drugs, but I wasn't metastatic. And I was, I was um, my immune system couldn't really handle anything else. And 
that's when I prayed and um, and I just stopped. I just decided I was going to be okay, but I had tremendous uh, PTSD. It's I always thought it was coming back and it was, I was pretty, um, had a lot of anxiety. And so that's where I was when my dear friend, Dr. Rhonda Donahue, who happens to be a PhD in nutrition and really smart and just a beautiful friend said, Mm -hmm. I found something. I found stem cell activation patches and I think we should try it. And I said, Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And she gave us like you know, one of the, uh, you know, sleeves, you know, one of these, that's all we have, one sleeve, okay, and um, she took 15, and I took 15, and I can still remember my husband and I were going to Oregon, and, um, and she told me to put it right here behind the back of my neck, and wear it for 12 hours on to activate, and 12 hours off to repair, so I did, and the crazy thing, Jeannie, is that after the first two days, I felt like metal taste out of my mouth and by day five I felt my hands get really soft and then I don't know by day 10 like all my anxiety was gone like I knew I was staying here on this earth I I, it's the weirdest thing I called her up and I said I don't know what you gave me but I can stay on it and I think we need to like share it and at this time like I only had like three left and she had like two left. So we like got them together in a little plastic zippy. And our, my, mine and Rhonda's good friend is Peter No in Huntington Beach, California. And I, we drove him to him and we like, here's five. <laughs> and um, I have to say, and this is embarrassing. I can't believe I'm going to say this. But at convention a year ago, I, I kind of said, I am never wearing all those patches. I don't know how everybody wears those patches all over the place. So that can't be me. But now look at me. I'm a freak. Okay, I'm the patch. Wow. You got them all there. Okay. I got them, and I, I quit very much. I quit buying. Um, uh, what was I going to say? I um, I only have one pair of shoes, so I buy patches anyway. So That's yes. That's right. Yeah. So you told me that last night. You said you don't buy shoes anymore. You just buy patches. I love. You it. know what? I'm just so blessed that I'm healed. That we're healing. Yeah. I mean, I'm just in gratitude. Yeah. You know. So anyway. Yeah. So Marcy, I want to ask you. So. Obviously, you got a lot going on, right? You got your business. You're very successful at your life wave business. And you have your three kids. You know, two yeah. of them graduated from high school, right? Plus your son, Jacob, you just were telling us about. I know you also have another part-time job. Yeah. So how are you reprioritizing your goals during the summertime? You know, I just work my business every day. I work my business within my life. That gives us freedom as women to be able to work our business in our everyday life. And I just, you know, follow an easy system, which is I patch three a day, I follow up with three a day, and I invite one to Zoom. And I do it just one hour a day. It's not hard. I can do it when I'm driving. I can do it when I'm by my fire pit. I can do it when I'm shoot, I'm taking my boys to Oregon in two weeks. We're just going to do a road trip and I can make my calls as I'm driving. Like it's easy to work it in your life. And what we do, what I do is I, once again, I patch three a day and I do that by asking simple questions like what's going on with you? Yeah. What do you know about stem cell activation? So I just ask, questions now how do, you then, do that? How, how do you do that during COVID because obviously you're not physically with people right I, I call them on the phone or I text them I'm a texter I text and talk and talk and text so that's my own way of reminding me that I need to follow up with someone so I'll either say hey it's been so nice I haven't seen I, you know COVID how are you doing Anona and Anona's gonna be like it's been crazy and I'm like hey you know what, you know, what's been going on with you? And she'll say, and then I might either call her and say, hey, you know, what do you know about stem cell activation? Or I may text her that. And then it's my reminder, if I've called her, then I'm going to follow up with a link showing her one of the little videos, you know, maybe the little peak interest video that's on our LifeWave app. That's a great little 45 second video, peak interest. And then it's a reminder that, I'm going to call and follow up. So I'm always like either on the phone or texting and then following up with either um, a, a, a text or a talk. And, and it's really 
just with love watering people with um with questions and, and it's really like so i ask the question and then i share a link and i share my testimonial mm -hmm. because there's this business is a gift business and then i give I know that if you like what you see by the link and you, you know that I've had cancer and my life has been crazy and look at my hair now, right? And she, you can't even not, you know, I had chemo hair, man. I was a mess, right? And so she's like, you're right. And I'll be like, so let me send you a link. And, um, and if you like what you see, just text me your address and I'll mail you five or seven in the mail. And then I qualify her, right? I'm not going to mail her a gift. If she doesn't want my gift, that's a gift. And right, then I right. usually qualify, like 50% of the people will notice it right away. And 50 don't, because sometimes it goes for, it repairs an internal organ first. Yeah. And yeah. that's why we have a money back guarantee. And yeah. usually, yeah. you know, people are excited to get a gift. This, the reason this business is so beautiful is we're a gift business. We're not a push business. And it's fun to give. You know, so I just, it's just fun. So that's what I do um, every day, one hour a day. I, I patch three and when, and when I follow up with three, I just call them and I ask, how are you? Most of the time when you follow up, they are like, oh, where are those? I get, yeah, they're on my dresser. And I'm like, get them off your dresser, <laughs> open them up, put them on. Like, there's yeah. no pressure. You're just being of service. And then I say, what's going on with you? People want to, and you become an active listener. People want to tell you what's going on with them. And then I say, you know, what are you experiencing? And some people experience something right away. And sometimes it takes longer and that's okay too. So the follow-up is important as well. So I like to say, once again, if you're going to patch three people a day, whether it's physically patch or mail, if you don't follow up, then you're wasting your yeah. your your Great gift, point. right? Great and then yeah. yeah, and then I invite one to Zoom to learn more. And I'm not attached to whether people are interested or not. I, I'm not attached if they show up or not. If they don't show up, I send the recording recording. I don't get down on myself. I'm just like proud that I'm doing the work and I'm proud that you're doing the work, right? That's it. No, don't be hard on yourself. Women, we're so hard on ourselves as just yeah. Like well, it's a great, I, I love your perspective and I love your system because it does allow you to incorporate so many aspects of summertime. Like you said, you're, you're now traveling to Oregon with your kids, with your twins. You've got a trip in there and you're still working your business and you're, you're, you're staying active and you're staying healthy. So you're really, you're, yeah, you're doing all, you're doing all the, the right things and you're, you're a great example of how to reprioritize goals during summer. So more. I just say one more thing, and that is what, what, what this business does by do working your business in your everyday life, as we women do, we're multitaskers, it allows us to build something called residual income. And that allows women to be financially secure and free. So now I do what I want to. There is no more have tos in my life. And this business is such a want to because it's healing humanity and I want to do it. So yes. with that, thank you. Thank you for I, having me. I love that. Thank you for that last thought. That was wonderful. All right, thanks Marcy. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss it back to Emily because I know we have another amazing guest tonight. And um, Emily, are you there? I am, I am Jeannie. Thank you so much. Gosh, Marcy, that was so wonderful. Thank you for sharing. I always love, I mean, I'm a mama, so I love hearing from other mamas on what we're doing too, to just crush it, you know, just crush it, crush that mom life, crush what you're doing, crush those goals. And it's so exciting to hear that and to hear what you're doing. So thank you, Jeannie. I appreciate you sharing that with, with Marcy and, and helping us learn from her and what she does. So, yeah, you bet. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Well, you guys, um, we do have a really, really exciting guest that's coming up. And as I mentioned, not only is this lady a LifeWave distributor, but she is also a certified life coach as well as a business coach. And let me tell you, as I've learned more about this particular individual, who I'll share with you in a second, well, who she is, I've, I've been so impressed. 
she's she has a resume and a list of credentials and accolades that's a mile long so i won't tell you everything incredible about her but i will share a few things she's an author she's a mentor she's a civil engineer she's an investor she's an entrepreneur She's the founder of Life Biz Solutions that provides directions and life transformation, which is huge. She's also, like I said, a certified business and a life coach, but also a certified coach and founding partner at the John Maxwell team. Woo, I about fainted when I read that the first time. I'm a big John Maxwell fan. Um, incredible, incredible. Like I said, she's, she's written books as well, and she's one of the first coaches who's spread the information and the concept and the help on how the law of attraction works to help you manifest things in your life. If any of you are familiar with that concept of the law of attraction or the secret with Bob Proctor, wow, you definitely need to catch that. You need to catch that and, and learn about that because it's really incredible. Most importantly, this lady I'm about to bring on here, she is so passionate about life, passionate about coaching, and connecting opportunities and people so they can live a better, healthier, happier, wealthier life. So let me, without further ado, let me introduce you to Miss Coach Clarissa. Clarissa, are you there, my dear? Hello, Emily. Hi, hi, welcome, welcome. <laughs> hi, everyone. I'm so grateful to be here, blessed to be here. Well, we're so glad to have you on the call as well. And just thank you so much for coming on and sharing some of your experience, your passion. And it's so exciting for us to have you because not only are you a life coach and a business coach with amazing experience, which I shared just a teeny tiny bit of, but you also have a great love and passion for LifeWave as a life yes. distributor. And so I think you just bring such a unique perspective to what we're talking about here with prioritizing for the summer and prioritizing the things that matter most in our lives. So if you're okay, Miss, Miss Coach Clarissa, would it be okay if we dive into some questions? Because I know people are really excited to hear what you have to share today. Go ahead. I'm okay. 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 Well, okay. let's, let's dive into some of these questions. So one of the first things I really want to know about is what would you say is one of the biggest struggles that most network marketers or direct sellers face during the holidays or even even just like the holiday seasons, what would you say is the biggest struggle? It's interesting because for me, struggle is not based on the season. We know and we all accept that uh, it's a season. It's summertime. And uh, like what I said, struggle is not based on the season. It's based on personal and professional mindset. Indeed, it's all about mindset. Some are overwhelmed with the season, especially summer when the sun shines so brightly. They want to catch the sun. They want to be with their kids. And in every season, people chose to change their mindset, which is uh, both a blessing and a challenge. And uh, the mindset, uh, you know, if we still have time later on, I'm going to expound on my favorite. I just created this. This will be um, included on my seventh book, which is Seasons Mindset. If you allow me, let me share S-E-A-S-O-N-S, -S, the Seasons Mindset. If you guys are ready, you can, uh, you can write this down. S is for struggles mindset. And by the way, at the end of our conversation, Emily, uh, they might be able to identify what mindset they are in right now. And then later on, they will, you know, they will decide where to go and what to change. So oh gosh, I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> let's, let's hear all about this. <laughs> Please. Mindset. Okay. S for struggles mindset. E is for excuses mindset. A is for adopted, uh, adaptive mindset. S for stock mindset. O is for optional mindset. N is never give up mindset. And S is for success mindset. Oh, I love that. I bet lots of people who are listening are thinking, okay, which one am I? Let's talk mm -hmm. a little bit more about what that, what that means and what each of the letters represents. Would that be okay? 
Yeah, for sure. S is struggles mindset. These are the people who who doesn't have definiteness of purpose. I like what Marcy has. Um, she what what she shared. You know, she's a very intentional person. One hour a day, three, 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 and uh, she's talk and text. She talk and text, text and talk. So um, E is for excuses mindset. These are the people who are always worried fearful and doubtful. These triplets, if you accept that in your heart, the worry, the fear, and the doubt, you will always find excuses, not reasons at all in your life. And A is for adaptive mindset. These are the people who learn from crisis after crisis. They adapt with the seasons of life. And S is for stock mindset. These are the people, whatever opportunity, they chose to be stuck. Interesting, right? Because they, these people need affirmations, uh, mentors, even if they have mentors or coaches, they would love to see. They will always um, um, analyze which comes first, the egg or the chicken, the chicken or the egg. They struggle because they can understand the power of starting and uh, the power of beginning something. So O is the optional mindset. These are the people who forgot to focus. They can finish because of so many options in their life. Option A, B, C, D, and every, every aspects. In every aspects of their life, they have options. They forget to focus. N is the never give up mindset. These are the people who never give up but don't have access to resources to be successful. They just need to realize, these people, they just need to realize the power of time. You know, time is the most precious commodity in the world. But most of the time, they forgot to have boundaries. I heard about a while ago about setting up boundaries, right? You, you, you mentioned that. They forgot to have boundaries and ended up burned. I think this is one of our things with LifeWave to have a new wave in life. And now I will really encourage each and every one of you who are here with us to have a success mindset. Success mindset, these are the people, leaders who has, um, uh, when they come in and when they start something, you have this definiteness of purpose. We live with purpose. So those are our seasons mindset. And uh, you can decide now whether you, are, you will be on the S to S. You start with the S. There's nothing wrong if you are now struggling. So at least you, um, you discover it, rec recognize it, and then move forward from where you are to where you want to go. That's what I do really as a life coach. Gosh, I love that. I, I really believe that once we fully kind of comprehend who we are, what, what our strengths are, what our weaknesses are, and really can identify where we are in, in, in a situation and help us to be so much more successful. So I love what you're sharing with that seasons model and how each of us have to identify that within ourselves. So I have a follow-up question to that. You know, um, as you shared, it's, it is the seasons really that that's one of the biggest struggles that most of the people you work with have, have, a, have a challenge with. But so as, as you help people to identify where they're at, what would you say would be the biggest piece of advice or the best advice you would give to, I mean, maybe just pick one or two of those in the seasons and what would you give as the advice or even a general um, advice to those that are struggling with, with changes and seasons and, and adapting to change? Okay, just be aware. There are, you know, there are a level of awareness in our life and and by the way, as you know, there are over 7 billion people need to get better in all aspects of life, from spiritual to financial. But most of the people, they're focused on financial aspects. So it left us, you know, they leave us like the, the, the imbalance of life. So that's the reason inventors, entrepreneurs, coaches, mentors are being born every day. So however, that awareness that moves people from where they are to where they want to be, uh, if we are not careful at that being aware of what we could have achieved, we will miss the boat 
or the opportunity to grow. So I always advise uh, and, and coach people to be aware. So from that season's mindset, be aware where you are right now. Again, recognize it and help someone uh, lift up your spirit and start from there. Well, I love that. That is such good advice. You know, it kind of reminds me of, of a thought as well. You know, um, I've heard lots of wonderful coaches like yourself motivational speakers, personal development coaches that talk a lot about the difference between commitment and structure, motivation, and how those are different concepts. And as you identify who you are and moving through some of these changes, what would you say, how do you help to convey that need for that commitment and structure versus just simply being motivated and excited because they've learned something new about themselves? Mm -hmm. For me, um, motivation should come from within. And I, I continuously inspire people with my actions and how passionately I commit to succeed. Everyone dreams of getting better, right? And, but uh, motivations are temporary. For example, if someone uh, sees that they will save money, they are motivated to buy. And how I encourage people to commit is um, I inspire them. Because inspiration is transferable. It's long term. I remember um, I got inspired by my father's friend. He's a civil engineer. And I end up being a civil engineer because I got an inspiration from him. I thought I'll be rich if I become a civil engineer. And uh, for, you know, until now, I'm an engineer because of that yeah. inspiration. And I uh, with that. that yeah, without being said, let me allow to share these three tips. Is that okay? Yes, of course, it's, please. <laughs> yeah, guys, ready? Three tips. And uh, three tips. Uh, first, uh, I encourage people to buy in with their dreams and goals. Be intentional. Um, the reason why Marcy, you know, uh, she's, she is where she is right now because of her intentions. Just like you, Emily and Jeannie. And I'm also an, a very intentional person. I wake up in the morning with this intention to succeed, to be happier, healthier, and wealthier on a daily basis. So that's what I do. Second, I inspire them with how I work and how I achieve things. I'm not saying I'm perfect. There's a lot of imperfections in my life. I failed and I made mistakes many times over and over, but I'm inspired to inspire people with how I work and uh, how, how I passionately share things that I love to do. And then third is I continuously lift people's spirit. I don't motivate people. I, I continuously lift people's spirit by uh, what they can do based on what they have. Everyone starts somewhere, right? And according to Zig Ziglar, he said, you don't have to be great to start, but you need to start to be great. So start now. How do you start with these three tips? Encourage people to buy in with, your, with their dreams and goals. Inspire them with how you work and how you live, and continuously lift people's spirit. So just the, the three, if you stick with that three tips, this summer, you will not struggle. You will just be inspired with, by what you do, not, not what Emily or Marcy or Jeannie or Coach Clarissa would do, but, but by what you can do. Oh, I love that. Those are really, really great tips. I'm sure that you've had to use some of your, your own advice, right? Mm -hmm. um, some of the things that you're sharing here that you work with your clients through, I'm sure you've, had, you've applied that to your own work as a LifeWave distributor. So um, as a LifeWave distributor, how have you used some of these specific things that you've shared with us, or maybe something that you haven't maybe shared with us yet, but that's helped you to stay focused, to stay successful, and to keep your priorities in mind while still inspiring others towards success? Yeah, I, I walk my talk. I work hard every day to get better. And uh, if I, I really want to encourage you, it's your time. Uh, if it's your first time with LifeWave, start from within. Listen to your body. No one can argue with how you feel. I started with that. Um, my friend shared and uh, introduced me to LifeWave. Thanks, Pete. 
And um, to all the leaders, I learned a lot from them. And uh, for me, no one could argue with how you feel. No one can change your ultimate goals and dreams, including me. Just listen to your heart, start from there, and uh, allow us like this summer uh, event with you, Emily and Jeannie. I really appreciate it. So for you guys, allow this um, free sessions, free coaching, allow this to mentor your coach to help you achieve your dreams and be intentional. Uh, for me, if I learn something, I really want to internalize it. I have internalized what LifeWave could do for me and for my family. And uh, transformation begins when someone benefits from something that you have internalized, right? So I am just, I'm just grateful. Um, I have embraced the pain for so many years. I am called to be a life coach. I know that. And as, I, as a life coach, I help people to have direction from where they are to where they want to go. And with LifeWave, I am able to impart and share my passion and gratefulness. Now I'm a pain-free. You know, I could truly affirm with LifeWave uh, that uh, success should be effortless because when you are passionate, you, walk, you work and talk from within. Uh, if it's not from within, you will end up. You will end up without, right? If it's not from within, you will end up without. I love that, uh, Coach Clarissa. I think that's so true. It's so important that it has to be from within. You have to be genuine. You have to be real. It has to stem from something deep within you that motivates you through those hardest parts. It keeps that commitment there, right? Mm -hmm. Through the tough times, because it's not always easy but it's worth, it's worth the effort. I appreciate that. I do have one final question for you. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't mind, this is actually one of my favorite questions when I'm talking uh, to people like yourselves and, and leaders within LifeWave. It's, it's so much fun for me. I love, I love to hear this. You probably recognize this from John, uh, <laughs> from John Maxwell. Um, mm -hmm. What would you say is the best piece of advice that you've received from a mentor or coach yourself that you have shared or internalized into your daily practices? What I learned from John Maxwell, if you don't prepare, you will repair. Prepare to be successful and the time is now. And the other thing is always be grateful, no matter what the outcome or what you do on a daily basis, as long as you do your best, you will be grateful with the lessons. Be grateful because it will lessons and growth there and uh, from my book if I may share allow me to share uh, from my book I became a risk taker because one of my life coaches is my mom she's risk taker so R-I-S-K I love acronyms okay R-I-S-K I use this so that people uh, would uh, remember and internalize what I share R-I-S-K it is road to influence your success and knowledge. You're going to read that from my book now that I am writing and uh, working on my seventh book. I would include the four principles, which I would love you to apply the four principles of Coach Clarissa. Have fun. You know, it's summertime. You can manage not to struggle if you are having fun. So have fun. Second, do your best not just your best, your very best. I kept on telling to my kids, do your best, your very best. So have fun, do your best. Third is be thankful and grateful. Uh, if you are thankful and grateful, it's not perfect. You still accept and recognize how to get better the next day. And then fourth is stay in faith, like COVID. This COVID thing, I stayed in faith. Uh, for the past 40 years, I turned 49 two days ago, and I started having this pain, and I got sick when I was nine years old. I had this um, half-body pain and paralysis since I was nine, and I just embraced the pain, and instead of questioning God, I embrace it. I know that I know it, and I know that I will land into something, and I didn't realize that this is the year during the COVID year where I was so busy coaching 
clients and here you go um, i received the gift of life wave with friend if someone introduced you to life wave embrace them be thankful and be grateful mm -hmm. so those are the you know those are the things that i really 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 love to share with you and um lastly i'm i i'm i'm wearing pink all the time are, are you um, intrigued what pink is all about i want to know what pink is all about Do I'll tell. Take, yeah i'll take advantage of this pink you guys p-i-n-k um stayed uh, i stay passionate and inspired I always welcome new ideas and kindness. So passion in inspiration, new ideas and kindness. If you have that pink, you'll be happy. You will attract success and you will realize success is effortless. Oh, wow. I, I love that. You have just been dropping so many great things on us here. I hope everyone's been writing away because honestly, Coach Clarissa, these are some really, really incredible tips. And I just love what you're sharing with us. It really, to me, it's so much about mindset, right? Mm -hmm. Having the right intentions, having the right part of your heart open, and all the things that you shared. I especially love that concept of pink. But mm -hmm. I think the thing that I've loved, one of the most things that you've shared here would be the concept of gratitude. You know, I do think that that is so incredible. And I think many of us take that for granted and how that can transform your life and truly help you to be so successful and, and recognize the success even more so. So thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us and for all you bring to life wave. We really appreciate you. Thank you, Clarissa. Yes, I'm grateful. And as much as uh, life wave changed uh, the wave of my being, it gave me wave, you know, the value AVE, lasting and uh, <laughs> wave, wisdom, have a wave, you know, uh, not everyone could be a life coach, but you could have a life wave, right? What yes. is your life wave? Have a wisdom to appreciate waking, waking up each morning without this pain and worries and a achieve success effortlessly. We uh, have this uh, victorious uh, mindset and experience life without hesitation to grow. And as a mentor and coach myself, I really encourage you to uh, follow me on my IG at Coach Clarissa. I would love to help all our distributors because I'm so grateful. I really, really pray and um, I, I, I kept on praying that uh, patches, our patches, our life wave opportunity land into someone's hand who will help us help others so that others can help us help spread the blessings. Oh, I love that. Honestly, thank you so much. You've, you've shared so much good with us today. Like mm -hmm. I, I've, I've definitely learned something here and I know that those that are on the call did as well. So thank you so much, my dear. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thanks for this opportunity to share. I'm grateful and I'm blessed. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks so much, Coach Clarissa. Well, everybody, I have a few things that I wanted to share um, just to wrap up the call. Um, we know that we're, we're getting close to the end time for our call, and we certainly like to keep on schedule here at LifeWave. So let me just quickly share with you um, a few little reminders and pieces of information. For those of you that aren't aware, um, make sure that you take advantage of the promotion that we have running right now. It runs through the 26th of July and is available globally to all of our distributors as well as our preferred customers. The special deal is buy two X39 and get a free sleeve of Eon. And we, gosh, these are that's a powerhouse coupling right there. And we certainly want to ensure that everyone has the opportunity to take advantage of that, of that promotion. So make sure you grab it while it's still available and share it with your prospects. Share it, share it with people who've been considering LifeWave both as either a customer or a distributor. It's a great, great way to uh, get people on board and, and get, them, get them to sign on that dotted line to seal that deal. Okay, so I um, also wanted to share with you some specifics. So we mentioned this last week. We do have this, um, what, this email that we've set up that allows you to share feedback with us on this call, LifeWave Living, as well if you have ideas or questions or anything that you want to share with us in the marketing and sales team that could help you to be more successful in your business or if you just want to say hi we're okay with that too uh, so make sure you email there now before I turn things back over to Jeannie to finish up our call I wanted to share with you one thing oh one thing the book the one thing this is a great great book 
And it really does help us to really identify what is the most important thing, the one thing we should be spending our time on. What is the one thing we should put our efforts in? You know, as we heard from Marcy, she talks about what she does every day. She has something, one thing that she does, that one hour that she ensures that she gets those things accomplished and she's very focused, which I think is wonderful. So I highly recommend this book, The One Thing. This has been something that's really helped me to really hone in on my priorities, really hone in on what is it that I want to accomplish? What are my goals? What are those non-negotiables? What do I need to do to ensure my success? So I highly recommend it. Each time we're on the call, we'll have a book that we recommend to you. Um, like I've shared with some of you before, I'm a bit of a personal development junkie. So I'm always reading, always looking for new ways to improve, new concepts to learn about, to help me and as I help you in the field and myself work towards our goals. So I wanna turn it back over to Jeannie. She has a few things to share with you right here at the end and then we'll wrap up our call. Okay, well, thanks, Emily. So for each of our webinars on Life Wave Living, we want to um, give a little surprise at the end, give uh, one of you a gift for being on the call. We pick you at random. So tonight, uh, congratulations to Felita Williams. Felita, you will be receiving in the mail a LifeWave water bottle along with a 10-pack sleeve inside the water bottle of X39. So um, keep on watching because one day it may be you. So we appreciate you being here. And we do want to leave you with a quote tonight. It's a quote that really is pretty appropriate to what we've been talking about this whole hour. And this is from Dolly Parton. And the quote is, never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. So on that note, thank you so much for attending and we'll see you next time. Take care. Good night.